Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Daily Downshift. My name is Nestor and today we got another install for the G87 M2. This time we're collaborating with our buddies over at Stradale Design. I haven't worked with them since we installed the front middle radiator protection cover. I just gave the car a really nice wash. I am absolutely filthy right now. Cleaning the wheels of this car is the most painful thing in the world. You just get black streaks all over so you have to dry it again. It's such a nightmare. But anyways, so what we're gonna be doing today is installing another protective item for this car. This is something that a lot of G8X cars, you know, even the M3 and M4 struggle with, and that is the lack of any kind of skid plate or protection for the radiator that's underneath the car. It is fully exposed, there's zero protection there, and um, you know, it, it's definitely needed. I've seen a couple of pictures and videos of people having like a nasty rock basically fly up into the radiator from the bottom of the car. This is, you know, pretty common if you're driving in an area with lots of construction. There's a possibility that one of these rocks or any kind of debris could just fly up, hit the radiator fins, and really make a strong impact, and if it does, GG's, your, your car is basically written off because you're going to have a fluid leak. That fluid is obviously what you don't want to leak out of your car uh, if you get a punctured radiator. And if it does, like I said, you're screwed. This is a product that is going to protect it. It is carbon fiber. And in addition to that, it is also going to create a negative pressure area because of the way it's designed with the fins. That'll give you a little bit of actual downforce um, and it'll counteract the effects of lift when you're driving very fast on track or whatnot. Oh, and one last thing before we slice open the box, guys, I do have a discount code if anyone is interested in this product normally it's a thousand bucks but i have a 10 percent off discount code so if anyone's interested use code daily downshift that'll save you 10 percent off this and actually anything on stradale designs websites can i do this with one hand oh, i think we got it let me see oh yeah all right this should just pop out like this oh yeah the one thing that really, really has me a little upset is the fact that this is such a nice product, you know, beautiful carbon fiber and whatnot, and it's gonna be on the underside of the car just taking damage, man. That's the one thing that, you know, I kinda hate. I absolutely love looking at carbon fiber. It's on the underside, obviously, so rocks are gonna be flying up, debris and all that stuff, but that's what it's for, right? It's for protection, so whatever. And here it is, ladies and gents. So as you can see, it's not a, uh, a glossy finish, which makes sense because it doesn't have to be, right? It's gonna be on the underside of the car. Underside looks like that. You got a logo over here. And then the awesome thing about this actual skid plate is the fact that it's utilizing every single OEM hole. So there's no drilling whatsoever. We don't need to make new holes. I did not want to get a skid plate that would require me to do something that is basically non-reversible. Why not just make a product that utilizes all of the OEM holes that are already on the underside of this car and that's exactly what this product does, which is awesome. Now. I'm no engineer, so I'm not gonna be able to describe to you guys exactly how this benefits, you know, aerodynamics and, and kind of like heat dissipation and stuff like that, but I was told from the company it works, it creates a negative pressure kind of environment um, where the radiator kind of sucks out hot air more efficiently, which is absolutely awesome. So in theory, this should actually help out on the track, maybe reduce your temps a little bit. But yeah, just check that out, man. Such a cool design product. So this is kind of the front end of it. And as you can see, those are the fins right there. And I believe, I don't know for sure, but I believe there's actually gonna be room in the front here for that rubber guard that's already on the car. Let's go ahead and get this car jacked up. Nailed that. That's a little sketchy, but I think it'll be okay. We'll survive. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what is underneath here, um, what we have to take off, uh, if anything, honestly. I imagine we're just going to have to take out a bunch of 10 millimeter screws and then put this on. It should be pretty easy, but let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, my radiator is already beat up, dude. I mean, it's not that bad, obviously. It's, it hasn't been punctured. We don't have any leaks or anything like that, but I can see right here, this is a pretty one. If that was a bigger stone, like twice the size of that, I would probably be in some trouble. And then, yeah, I got a couple 
right over there too as you can see it's definitely beat man wouldn't it make sense for bmw to just from factory include some sort of like grill guard or radiator guard way way too exposed in my opinion but anyways so it looks like we're gonna go ahead and take off all of these 10 millimeters for those of you also doing this install you're gonna want to get rid of this right here this plastic piece that runs all the way along there Oh man, that's a lot of water. A lot of water from the car wash. So much water, oh my God. You just gotta go ahead and move all of these over onto the Shirdale piece and then it'll be ready to go and yeah, very simple install, honestly. And 30 seconds later, we got all these housings on in all the right places. There's eight of them in total. That's gonna just slot underneath my front lip, underneath here. Let's go ahead and slot this thing in and I cannot wait to see what it looks like. And yes, it's depressing because we're never gonna be able to see this thing, but I got the peace of mind as well as hopefully a little bit of uh, better performance. Oh yes, it's just sliding into place perfectly. Okay, yeah, I think we're I think we're basically good in the front here. Guys, this has been <laughs> the easiest install I've had in a long, long time. There's no hiccups, all the bolts are lining up perfectly, and we are in business, guys. And just like that, everything is bolted up super nicely, guys. Check that out we got the carbon lip from unit 17 and then of course we have the beautiful stradale design radiator skid plate protector it looks like a proper race car with those fins man i absolutely love it and the best part is that they're functional not just the design cue so yeah that's how it kind of looks from the side guys as you can imagine you know if rocks are just bouncing up they're gonna bounce on the ground hit this way and they're just gonna bounce right off so everything is lining up beautifully. Right now I'm just throwing in all these screws and then we'll bolt them down tightly in a second. One of the easiest and most simple installs that I've done in a really long time, which makes me happy. I don't have to stay under the car for hours and hours to get it done. Whatever the highest rating is you could give them, that's what I would give them. Great fitment, the install super easy. And I mean, just look at how gorgeous this thing looks underneath the car, man. Like I'm depressed that I'm never gonna be able to see this. Man, this is so, so beautiful. I have to say they really did a fantastic job with this product and I would highly, highly recommend it. And for those of you that have made it this far in the video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what the Recaro pole positions look like. I got them installed and in the car, and honestly, they are, whew, they are magnificent. So that's what it looks like right now, guys. Stay tuned for the install video. That's gonna be coming next or the upload after the next one, uh, which is another carbon fiber piece. But yeah, those have been amazing. Um, and that's a little sneak peek for you guys. I've seen a lot of other skid plates that are made out of metal and they weigh a substantial amount. It's okay if you wanted to go for like a metal piece. There's nothing wrong with that. It's gonna protect your car, uh, depending on obviously design. It's gonna protect your car more or less the same. For me personally, adding a very heavy, massive steel a skid plate on the front of my car is just a no-go. And that's why I love this one, and that's why we went with this option. Once again, if you guys do wanna purchase this or anything off Shardali Design's website, use code Daily Downshift, and that'll save you 10% off everything on their website. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.